So the first and most important thing when leveling a refrigerator is to ensure the, the back of the unit is aligned horizontally. Since there's no adjustment in the back of the unit, if the floor is uneven, you'll need to use a shim to align, to adjust horizontally. So Whirlpool sells a shim. The part number is 4387828. So to install a shim, there's a uh, removable piece of tape on the back. So pull the cover off the tape, and then you're going to affix that shim to the floor. In this case, the back right of the unit, the back right floor is a little low, so we're going to install the shim behind the unit, affix it to the floor, and then we'll simply push the refrigerator back up onto the shim. So now that we've adjusted the back of the unit horizontally, we want to adjust the front of the unit. You'll notice the doors are a little uneven yet. Uh, one important thing to note is the doors are designed to, to be uneven when the refrigerator is empty. That's so that, so that when you load the refrigerator, the, the doors will naturally come into level as you load the, the refrigerated compartment. If after loading the doors are still uneven, you'll want to adjust the leveling legs on the front. To access the leveling legs, you're going to open both doors to 90 degrees. And this is important. If they're open uh, something other than 90, you won't be able to remove the, this front plastic grill at the bottom of the unit. So we'll go ahead and grab a Phillips head screwdriver and remove this front toe piece. With the two Phillips head screws removed, the plastic kick plate will simply slide right off. So to adjust the leveling feet, you'll need a quarter inch open end wrench. And it's important after moving the refrigerator to ensure the leveling feet are lowered sufficiently to raise the wheel off the floor. If you're moving the unit, it's important to raise that leveling foot to allow the wheels to transport the bulk of the weight of the refrigerator. So if you turn that leveling screw clockwise or to the right, it's going to lower the leveling foot and raise the unit off the ground. After horizontally adjusting the rear of the unit using our shim, and lowering the leveling legs on the front of the refrigerator, you'll notice the alignment between the freezer and refrigerator door is still off slightly. To adjust for this, we can raise or lower the level of the refrigerator door. To adjust the level of the refri refrigerator door, we're going to use a 5 16 inch open end wrench and turn the adjustment screw on the bottom of the refrigerator door hinge. So you see by focusing on aligning the rear unit horizontally first, lowering the leveling legs in the front, and then adjusting the doors for the fine adjust, we're able to perfectly align the freezer and refrigerator door. After alignment's complete, you'll simply want to open the refrigerator doors back to 90 degrees and replace the kick plate. Warning, electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three-prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock.